I heard Shalom, want to start out by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Shema, Shabbat, Shema, Kakodash, the bonus of the Apostle, it was a great millstone. Shalom unto the other acumen that pushing the word of sincerity and in truth. You know, I want to do this lesson on uh, how the Lord is making a man more precious than fine gold, you know, and more so an Israelite man, all right? Because when the Lord said, I'm going to make a man more precious than fine gold, he's talking about the man that's attached unto the word of this, uh, this book, all right? And me and a couple of brothers at the camp, we were basically just fellowshipping and, um, you know, going into uh, how the Lord is, you know, you know, really, rich, it, it, it starts now. Really, men, especially righteous men, that's a rare thing, man. You know, Solomon said it best in Ecclesiastes how he could search through thousands of men and he couldn't find one. You know, he said he searched through, through all women and he couldn't find any. You know, he, I think he said one of a hundred uh, with, with men, if I'm not mistaken. You know, so men as a, uh, you know, righteous men, you know, it's only so many. And, and I have this actual, which came out 2019. I know probably a, a few brothers are familiar with this, but it's it's heavy indeed. You want to publish his first quarter de de demography uh, report 2019. There are 7.8 billion people on planet Earth. The report shows. Women equal 5.6 billion, men equal 2.2 billion. So they advise women to be careful in showing attitudes to any man because out of that, the 2.2 billion, yeah, the scripture, uh, well, <laughs> basically, this report is basically saying women to be fucking humble, man. You know, do your job, be subservient because women aren't the prize. Really, the man is the prize by numbers. All right. For every man, one man, I think they say is six, you know, for every six women, woman, uh, it's, it's a six to one ratio, men to women. But it says, so they advise women to be careful in showing attitudes to any man because out of that 2.2 billion men, 1 billion are married already, 130 million are in prison, 70 million are mentally ill. That means that we have just about a billion men available for marriage and out of the billion, 50% are jobless. 3% are gay, 5% are Catholic priests, 10% are your relatives, 35% are above 66 years old. So so that, that the prophecy is speaking about, uh, you know, Isaiah 13, how the Lord is going to make a man more precious than fine gold, even the, uh, the golden wedge of Ophir. And I was watching this uh, video on Vice, and they have a lot of leftover women. <laughs> you see the woman with the damn bag on her face. You know, that's a that's a big thing. It's even a term which I'm going to the Sheng Yu. You know, it says we're not de left over dating Chinese women in Shenzhen. But, you know, a lot of these women, you know, pushed, were basically controlled by Esau, you know, dealing with the workforce and things and such. You know, and that actually, you know, when uh, men actually went to war with, and it speaks about that in that documentary. You know, you had the emblem of uh, Rosie the Riveter. And you had women actually getting more liberty to actually work within the assembly lines, work work these different manufacturing uh, plants, you know, basically having uh, jobs to actually bring home the butter, you know, and that actually backfired and it destroyed relationships, you know, because a woman's job is, is to actually be up under a man, but they actually sent the men to war, fight, men fighting battles that, you know, were governed by the super elite and then they actually took the women and made women the new men and even when the women, men came back from the war they was having problems all right because a lot of them wanted their jobs back but they had a lot of women that was working those jobs so it's a conflict you know but this is a shang yu which is a, a chinese term idiom idiomatic expression most of which consisted of four characters shang yu were widely using classical chinese and um the main thing I want to just get uh, with the, sh the Shagyu or Changyu is uh, it really just means uh, leftover because those women, you know, in China, and that's a that's a, a derogatory term used towards Chinese women, you know, which, uh, you know, means leftover women. I was reading it earlier, and it actually has it on the documentary. Brothers want to actually check it out. Uh, but the f the fact that the matter is, you know, a lot of the the men, you know, first off, they might have women, 
and then it's all it's all these women that's, that's available and then they just call them leftover it don't matter how much they make you know it don't matter their occupations and things of that nature you know same thing with now it's a lot of black women that uh are single and, and they might make hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year all right but they can't keep a man to save their life you know holly berry multi-millionaire they always speaking about and she be, she'll have these rich husbands or, or men that she's dealing with but then the the uh, marriage or the relationship doesn't last too long then you have a uh, rihanna she, you know she was with some billionaire and now she with uh some some nigga you know uh asap rocky you know and a lot of these women you know can't keep a man because hey, cause that's the prophecy man this because these women are proud they're haughty you know they they get a little bit of uh income coming in and then they start to uh you know believe that they actually have value outside of of a man when a woman's value actually comes through the man all right and it don't matter how much money a woman has a, a woman is up you know supposed to be that a woman a servant all right when you look at the definition of a woman it, it means servant a lady is a needer of dough somebody that's actually in the house cooking you know preparing you know as the man as the husband is planting whether he's planting in the world or planting seed within that that woman to produce child that's the occupation and that's how it's set up to the spirit but the lord spoke about how he would turn a new thing in earth uh how a man uh, would overcome overcome past that of a uh, excuse me a woman would overcome past a man and we've seen that prophecy indeed isaiah 32 and 9 but this is the time where the, you know the role reversal is occurring man the lord is raising up the sons of zion the righteous ones that understand the noble heritage and walking as such and we are reobtaining the kingdom. And part of the kingdom is going to actually, Isaiah 4 and 1, seven women shall cleave under one man. You know? You know, that's them leftovers, so to speak, to shake you. <laughs> Isaiah 32 and 9. Rise up, you women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women. For the vintage shall fail, which is the gathering. The gathering shall not come. They had a vintage, your substance, you know, your financial aid or whatever you're trying to produce is going to um, gonna start lacking. Trouble ye women that are at, tremble ye women that are at ease. And this is the prophecy. Be troubled ye careless ones. Strip ye and make ye bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins. Right. And that's these women being put down, man. Because a lot of women that's going to be uh, hauled off to fight this third world's war and they're going to get bombed to death. You know, just keeping it honest, you know. A lot of these women that, um, you know, defy their man, talk all kind of shit. The Lord has a, a angel, the angel of death, you know, ready to take their heads off their shoulders, man. You know, and the scriptures speak about how the Lord deals in, dwells in the tab tabernacle of, of men. You know, now you had a couple of women that were righteous within the scriptures, but this, this, this is a man's book. This is a man's heritage. And that's why it's a time to gird up as men, you know, until you, O men, I call. You know, as it's written in the book of Proverbs. I wanted to go through so many more, but, you know, for the sake of time, I got to go into work. I'm going to cut it short. And by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yah, by Shemal, 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 by Shem